In this video, I'll go through a quick example on how to use current division. So here's a, a simple resistive circuit example. So we have nine volts DC source, and we have the current that flows through this circuit. We have R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, 6, and R7. And then we have, we want to find I1 and I2. So I1 or current I1 flows through R4 and I2 flows through R3. So there are different ways to tackle this uh, simple example or this simple problem, but I'm going to show you the way I'm going to do it. So the first thing is let's calculate the total current, which is I, you know, supplied by this 9 volt DC source. To do that, we need to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance or the equivalent uh, resistance. So, and I would watch, I would recommend watching videos I did on how to find the equivalent resistance for a combination of sears and parallel resistances. So I'm going to start from the from the right and work my way to the left. So I notice R6 and R7 are in parallel. So I'm going to call that equivalent R equivalent 1. So they're in parallel. So resist, two resistances in parallel. That equivalent is the products of the two resistances divided by their sum. So it's 150 ohms. Then, so this is R equivalent 1. I notice this equivalent is in series with R5, so that's what you see here. Then I just do the math. Then once I find basically up to here, R equivalent 2, I notice it's in parallel with R4 and R3 and R2. So I'm going to just do R equivalent 3 is equal to R equivalent 2 in parallel with R4. I did the math. It's 127.27 ohms. Then I keep finding the equivalent. I call it R equivalent 4. I take R equivalent 3 in parallel with R3. I did the math. 77.7 eight ohms and finally our equivalent four is in parallel with r2 so i get 43.75 ohms so and i call that our equivalent five our equivalent five is in series with r1 so the total or the equivalent feminine resistance is or the equivalent resistance is R, R equivalent 5 plus R1, which is 143.75 ohms. So basically, I reduce this circuit into something like this. So I just have 9 volt DC source, and basically it's in series with R equivalent which is 143.75 ohms. So that's basically what I did. Now I can just do Ohm's law. And now Ohm's law current is equivalent is equal to volt voltage divided by resistance. So 9 volts divided by 143.75 ohms, which comes to be 0 0.0626 amps or 62.6 milliamps. <clears throat> so now I found the source current from there I can just do current division. So what I did here the second circuit here basically I just re redrew it with the equivalent of R6 and R7 which is R equivalent 1. So that's what I'm showing here. The third circuit here I just redrew R equivalent 1 
in series with R5. So I just put that sum here, which is R equivalent to just for simplicity. And I calculate those equivalent resistances in the previous slide. So I know the source current is 62.6 milliamps. So now I want here, since this resistance is in parallel with this, parallel with this, parallel with this, I can use current division. So it's one over, so it's it's equal to the source current I that I calculated here times one over uh, R equivalent two divided by the sum of the inverse of all the resistances that are in parallel. And notice I do not include R1 because R1 is not in parallel and I current I flows through R1 so it's, it does not get involved in the calculation so keep that in mind so if i do the math i calculate 0.007825 amps or 7.825 milliamps so then i2 if i come back here i2 is flowing through resistance R3. So again, it's just current division is equal to R current I times one over R3 divided by the sum of all the resistances in parallel. So if I carry out the calculation, I get 0.0139, sorry, 69 amps. So basically how you can do the uh, current division in this example the first step was to find the source current because that's required to take advantage of current division number two you need to have resistances in parallel because because current divides you know when you have because this current here i some of it will go through r2 some of it which is i2 will go through r3 some of it will go through R4 and some of it will go through the same current so uh, so we'll go through R5 which I called I1 and I1 will divide amongst R6 and R7 so that's why I found the equivalent of R5 plus R6 in parallel with R7 and notice that I, I did not involve R1 in current division because it's not in in parallel because current I flows through R1 it does not divide you know so so those are things that are important to remember when dealing with current division thank you and have a great day